Okay, so we are in Soundtrap and I'm going to click Enter Studio. I'm always gonna click uh, music unless we're doing a podcast. Um, so here's that import file button that I was talking about previously. So when I click that, um, you have uh, the option to kind of explore your computer um, through different uh, folders and whatnot. Um, the idea is that you can click music, you can click iTunes or whatever multimedia music player you have, uh, and you can click a uh, direct um, thing. Or you can click uh, choose file and do it that way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag and drop my audio into here just so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so we're gonna drag and drop. So I'm gonna open my iTunes account and I actually have found a track that I um, want to use anyway. and It's almost already clipped down for me. Um, so it's kind of a win-win. So again, I'm just going into my personal account and all I'm gonna do is drag and drop. Um, this is Duke Ellington's Take the A-Train. Uh, this is only the intro. Um, so again, it's only a short uh, clip here. Um, but we, I will show you how to clip music down anyway. So a couple things first. Just to double check that it is five seconds or less, I'm going to click on the setting uh, spool here, and I'm going to click time. Now it's actually a little over five seconds, but I think once I clip this down, it'll be just about five seconds long. So that's that checks out okay. Um, we're so used to looking at beats, right, with measures, and we wanna continue to do that with our sample because we're going to be uh, creating a song, um, you know, in Soundtrap uh, with a clip. Now, uh, sampling is a little tricky because uh, this clip that I've just imported doesn't necessarily mean that it lines up with uh, these loops that I have. So that's something that we'll kind of explore a little bit more uh, as we go on. Again, you don't necessarily want the sample to be um, recognizable. You want it to be something uh, that you can kind of create something new with. So I'm going to use the zoom in and zoom out um, magnifying glass in the side here just so I can get a real close look at this. And I can already see that my um, music doesn't start for the first few seconds. Um, so I'm just going to automatically clip that out. Um, so you can do this one of two ways. You can do Command E or if you forget to do that, you can always click Edit and you can see that it's Command E. So I'm going to delete that because I don't need that. Um, and then I'm going to kind of work out um, how this is going to sound as a loop. If it's something that I can loop, if this is something that um, maybe I don't feel like I can make anything with it, we'll see. Okay, so just for uh, video's sake, um, I have kind of added a few things um, and I've tried to get close to creating uh, some kind of example project for you. Um, but again, I just wanted to show you. So here's the original. So let's take a listen to this. Okay, pretty easy, right? And again, that's the beginning of Take the A Train. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete that because I'm going to show you what I've done so far. Um, and I'll just move this over. And again, we always want it to start obviously at measure one. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see. Now, what I've done is I've actually clipped, um, this is my sample and I've, I've clipped it down a little bit, but also notice I'm in measures, right? I'm not in seconds. So this, uh, sample lines up with the measure bars and that's going to help me tremendously when trying to loop with um, these loops that I have available to me in Soundtrap. Now if you wanted to go through and create your own 
uh, instruments, you can do that. Um, I'm just showing you kind of like what's easiest and I think what's the kind of best strategy for going through this. I um, also kind of took the uh, cool idea of reversing um, my clip. So it actually does not sound like the clip that you just heard. It sounds like this. So all I did is I took that track and I uh, played it backwards, basically. So I reversed the track. And there's a ton of different things that you can do here. And I encourage you to do this. This is kind of the fun part of the project where you get to kind of disguise your clip. Um, so you can change uh, the actual tone or timbre of the track um, by adding these different kind of character things to it. You can change the pitch. Um, you can add it to the loop library. So if this is something that you worked really hard on and you want to save it for other projects, you can do that too. Uh, fade in, fade out, obviously. Okay. So um, I selected a beat. Um, and I always want to start with my foundation. So I always want to start with my beat pattern. And then I want to kind of work my way up. So uh, I want to find some kind of drums, right? A beat pattern. Then I want to find a bass line, uh, something lower, right? Um, and then I want to find some kind of harmony. So whether it's a piano or keyboard or a guitar or something that can play chords. Um, and then uh, I want to see if I can use this as kind of my hook or my melody. So let's see what I got so far. One thing that's kind of like a little bit of a cheat, um, if you select a beat that you like, you'll see that they all say beanie. So let's say I search beanie on here. You can see that there are several uh, different tracks that have that name in it. Um, these are really great for, um, you know, if you need a second track that sounds similar, maybe uh, you're gonna do an A uh, and a B section. Um, you want to have uh, tracks that sound similar enough to be in the same song, but sound different enough to be in two different uh, uh, sections. So again, the idea is that um, if you find something that says guitar one, guitar two, guitar three, or whatever, um, those are good references for you to kind of explore other things. Now, um, I'm actually going to continue to work on this, and I'll kind of show you what the final product looks like. Um, I'm going to be creating this using an ABA format, something that you are already familiar with, uh, with our Soundtrap creations in uh, the beginning of the semester. Um, you do not have to do that, um, although because the project has to be a minute and 30 seconds long, if each one of your sec sections is 30 seconds, then it gets you to a minute and 30 seconds long. So that might be something that you want to explore. <laughs> 